hello everyone welcome back i thought this week we'd do something a little bit different i've grabbed out all of my favorite neutral items of clothing and i just thought i'd share them with you and how i styled them up a few of you have asked for um a video on neutral styling and i thought yeah this is the week to do it so before we crack on, my name's Laurie by the way, if you're new here, I'm a fashion, beauty and lifestyle blogger, stroke vlogger here on YouTube and yeah, I do fashion videos every week and I do the odd lifestyle video every now and again as well, the weekly vlogs. So I'd love you to subscribe if you enjoy the film and please give a thumbs up and tell me your thoughts on this neutral styling now can you see the rail the rail is actually dipping and this is just mainly my winter neutrals that are here i've not pulled out anything summer neutrals i'm thinking white cottons linens um silks you know it just goes on and on and on and I was always told that lighter colours suit me better and I, oh we're going back a good few years now, I started to collect some creams and biscuit tones into my wardrobe. What I recognise most after buying those few pieces is how they will just pair with anything in your wardrobe, anything cream or white. You could say the same about black. It will go with anything else in your wardrobe. My regular ladies on here will have seen literally every piece of this at some point. Um, there's tops and jumpers and jackets in here that will have been paired with other colours. But I also think that when you've got a variation of neutrals, look at all those different shades in there. They just all pair seamlessly and effortlessly together. So I'm going to go through all my favourite pieces on here and I'm going to explain my thoughts on how I bring that style or that look together. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's not too boring. Like I said, this is something I've wanted to do for some time and here we are. The shops are full of the dregs of winter if you like there's not a lot out there i've got a marx's haul coming up next week ladies so i hope you'll join me for that but other than that i thought looking around online i couldn't think of anywhere that i would want to share a new haul you know it's all very old looking winter we're going to start heading into spring now so i didn't want to get a whole new haul of any brand in to be fair and that's why i just stuck with this this week anyway i hope you enjoy it let's go through what i'm wearing today completely non-neutral is this brora dress i got this late in the summer or early winter it's not been worn enough ladies i'm thinking about what i could pair over the top of this dress you know a black blazer looks lovely over it or a black jacket but i'm thinking maybe a black knitted tank would be best because uh you know it's too cold for just a dress on its own at the moment i've got a full slip on under this today but it's okay indoors but it's not something i would really go out in but I know this dress is on sale and Brora sales are excellent. It's an expensive, to me, it's an expensive brand. You know, it's one of those, for me, I would call it one of my luxe brands. But um, yeah, I think it's half price at the moment, this dress, and it's a beautiful dress. Everything that Brora do is excellent. Anyway, what else have I got on? I've paired that with the black duo boots. These are the ones that you can have fitted to your calves. So if you've got extra skinny calves, you will get a pair to fit you at duo boots. If you've got overly wide calves, you will get a pair to fit you at duo boots. They come with a special measuring system. I think they're fantastic. I am literally 
all my new knee high boots i've got two pairs of duo boots a black pair and a brown pair and i'm literally living in just those because they're so comfortable as well it's not just about fitting to the calf and not going all wrinkly around my legs um they really are a beautiful boot i've just got plain hoop monica Veneda hoop earrings in i should have a new code ladies so i'll put it in the description box below uh necklace that's old bangles are old these were my mother's uh the dome ring from Majuri, my favorite and nord green watch i know they've got a good sale on at the moment anyway let's get into this i hope it's not going to be too boring i'll try and get through it quickly i hope you know there's a lot here to get through i might not try all of this on with it'll be an over an hour long film but i just wanted to explain to you how i like to style these pieces this is the color that i wear mostly that's why i've got so much of it but at the same time like i said i mix other colors in with all of these items yeah right the first one it's got to be the dress from Denmark I have lived in this for the last what two three months it's just so easy to wear so easy it looks great with a smart coat over the top this is all you need a slip dress a full slip underneath for extra warmth this is actually um i think it's climatil this one so it is thermal as well this dress i love the simplicity of it it's plain on the back by the way that's the only downfall for me but i still love it i don't belt it it's just a really easy simple piece to wear but it's in my favorite color I don't know if it came in other colours, but this is my favourite colour. As you can see, light colours just suit me better. And I think this is a great staple piece to have. Um, I've got this cardigan. Now, you could, they're completely different colours, but you compare that over the top of that, and it doesn't look out of place. And this is what I'm talking about why i like the neutrals so much because everything just pairs so easily together i've got biscuits oatmeal cream taupe um camel these are classed as camel i won't call them camel uh you've got your butter your buttery cream i like you know i, I would call these trousers a buttery cream or beige they've got that slight undertone of yellow in them i love these trousers uh yeah so yeah this is one of my first favorites that i had to mention now trousers i'm not wearing these a lot at the moment because they are a linen blend very lightweight cotton i wore these a couple of weeks ago to uh, in the weekly vlog these are my favourite trousers. These are actually from Reese. And I've had these, I think it's coming into the fifth year. But what I wanted to say about these trousers, ladies, in one of my vlogs, it will still be here on, on my platform somewhere. I did an H&M order and I ordered the cigarette trousers in this colour and i couldn't believe how identical they were so i will be linking those if they're available because why pay a hundred pound when you can get exactly the same thing for 17.99 i was really disappointed actually you literally could not see any difference in the reese trousers compared to the h&m ones they were the same material the same fit same style everything about them was exactly the same but they're just so easy to pair with so many things again um so for something wintry i would pair them together and the weight of the knit and the texture is what pulls the outfit together and then you've got your accessories and then you've got your accessories which i'll talk about after 
so you could pair the trousers with the jumper. This is one of my all time favourite cream blouses from uh, Balkian. So if you want that smart look, you pair them together. This is my favourite t-shirt from H&M, you know I've raved about this for ages, but look at the colour, it's that taupe, look at the pairing, they're nearly identical, you put a nice smart belt on with that, and then you could put this cardigan over the top, for that more laid back look, for the neutrals, or if you want to dress it up a little bit, go for a jacket now what would I go for so I would go for either this one that will give you a smarter look if you're looking for an office look they're a slightly different tone but I'm going to try this on and I guarantee you this will all pair up lovely together and this is what I say, it's just so versatile to have your neutrals in, in your wardrobe. Right, jeans. Now, I find cream jeans actually quite hard to find. I've talked about this a lot. I've got a stone pair as well from uh, Artichoke that are very good. I know they stock them. These are from Marks and Spencer's. And I've had, I bought these jeans before I moved in here and I've lived here for five years. So they're quite old. I don't know if I can link them, but I'll try and find something to link similar. But I absolutely love these jeans. Um, another thing that people say, do you not worry about cream jeans getting dirty? But it does, I don't think it notices anywhere near as much as if you're wearing a pair of black trousers say because if I wear black trousers they get covered in fluff dog hair you know with this with these it's, it doesn't even notice but again they're just favorites and what would I pair them with uh, again for a casual look the t-shirt and the cardigan for a smarter look what will we go for? Maybe the silk shirt from Lily Silk. Now I know there's a colour in there, but it's still bordering on the neutral shade. So that will pair well together. Um, what else could I pair it with? Oh, this has been a big favourite. This, uh, it's a grown on neck. And this is from Damar and this is Fermal. I've worn this a lot. They will pair well together. I know that all looks a little bit too white, but once you've paired your accessories with it, it'll blend it'll tone it'll tone it down a bit. Uh what else would we put with this? What jacket? To be fair, I'd most probably go with the cardigan. Um oh, I've got this cream long cardigan from H&M so that would make a nice look the three of them together I think that all pairs nicely so let's get into other shades now these are classed as camel but this I would call them more biscuit oatmeal they're not not camel um, I would class this as camel look at the difference it's got a lot more orange in it but these again are from H&M the cigarette trousers what can I pair these with well let's get that out of the way so that I know that I've done it again for the smart look you've all seen me in this quite a lot ladies what else could we use? I've got a silk blend roll neck from Lily Silk. And for smartness, I could add the 
cream jacket so that will look good together that will be one look um, I normally wear a camisole under this it's a little bit on the thin side but I love the style of it it just drapes lovely what else would I wear with these um, I could wear the long cardigan again Yeah, as far as jackets go, for me, it would have to be this one. This has got this beigey, it's like a beige cream undertone. Very nice. Favourite trousers at the moment, absolutely excellent. Now, these are, I don't wear these in the day. I actually wore these for my 60th birthday. The, again, H&M, sorry if there's too much H&M in here, they are excellent, excellent trousers. And again, they've got that yellow undertone to them. So I've got another pair of evening trousers here. These are cream. Look at the difference. And that might look biscuity, but it's not. It's more of a yellow undertone, I would say. And... These are my two favourite evening trousers, I think. Now, you could pair this. This is what I pair these trousers with for a nice, smart evening look. It's a off-the-shoulder cream. I'm pretty sure I got this from Rio Has. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's available now. But again, cream and cream. You don't need anything else with this. It looks fantastic on. These trousers are absolutely beautiful. Now for evening looks and keeping it tonal, I also like Lurex. Now it's come back on the scene a little bit, hasn't it, this, this last couple of years. I tried on a beautiful Lurex top from uh, Artichoke and I've got this one from Estia. But again, so it would pair with those trousers. Or it would pair with the cream. I don't think I've worn these ones actually in the vlog. I think I use these ones. These are my day, I call these my day to night trousers. So I've paired them together like that. These are a straight leg trouser where the, the other two are a much wider leg and I I actually prefer wider leg trousers for night time, plus I can wear higher heels. <laughs> I'll get away with that. I'm only 5'2", by the way, ladies. But yeah, that's why I do that. Yeah, so anything with gold tones and creams, I think, work perfectly together. Let's get back into these trousers. So let's talk about a pair of straight cream tailored trousers. Now ladies, these are by Eastex. Let me know if any of you remember the brand Eastex. I actually did a photo shoot with Eastex up in London. It's got to be coming up eight years ago. I did it for the blog on the website and they gave me some fabulous pieces. And the, this is the favourite item that I got from that haul. It, they're absolutely stunning. But you can get these cream straight leg trousers in so many stores. So it's not going to make a lot of difference. But yeah, I love them. They've got a slight jersey feel to them. And if I wanted these trousers to look more casual, I'd go straight in with a white tee or the biscuit colour will look good with these cream trousers again it's it just all blends um, I compare these trousers with that jacket I compare them with this cardigan I think it just all works well together. Or, for a really smart look, 
the jacket now I'd say this is more of an oatmeal biscuit oatmeal shade the jacket but they pair well together or if I'm going for a jazzy night out I'll just put a little black camisole on and pair them together now they do look slightly off but once you've got another top on under that in a different colour they will pair up fine another reason why I like Another favourite, and this would be one from Lily Silk. I do have another cream Lily Silk shirt that I've worn for years, and it's in the washing, so I couldn't use that one. But this is the newest one that I've got. And you've got the cuff detail, frill. And it's those little details, again, it's not just a cream shirt. That little bit of detail and texture is what creates interest to the outfit. So, I'm wondering if we can get away with jeans and a cream silk blouse, you know, for a more casual look. I could pair, I could pair these two together for an evening look. I think that will look good. I think that will make a nice pairing. And these are very fluid as well. Um, what else would I pair this with? The camel. I think that's a nice pairing. And even my linen ones from Reese would pair. So all those different colours of trousers, grab yourself a cream shirt, they, it just goes with anything. Anything. Um, what else do we have on here? I've done blazers. The other thing I would say, I know it's not so much a neutral, but a good white shirt. This shirt I've had a long time, it's from Balkion, one of my favourite brands. And again, white will pair with cream as well. I think white is, you've got to have a good white shirt in your wardrobe, it just goes with anything. I just threw this in because I think it creates a nice look. So you've got the jeans, for more of an office look, you've got the camel, You've got the Reese trousers for a smart, I think that would make a great smart work look. You wouldn't get an evening look out of this. But yeah, I think a white shirt is important. Now the only other thing I wanted to talk about was how patterns will mix in with neutrals so well as well. So I've picked out this shirt from Artichoke and look at all the colourways in there. It's one of my favourite shirts. All my regulars will know that. But the undertone of it is actually cream. So that shirt will pair with literally any of those trousers that I've got on here. It will pair with this. It would pair with the jeans. I might actually try that. Let's try cream trousers. I think cream trousers will go well. Now they're, they're, they're going to pair because of that light undertone in the shirt. So what I'm trying to say is all you neutrals, if you've got some neutral in something else, it will still pair with all of these items for bottoms. And then I've got the jumper. Again, look at the undertone. It's cream. Brown on top. But it will pair with these trousers. It will pair with these jeans.
for a casual luxe look it would go with these trousers as well and that's how I do it that's how I pair everything together and you know so many of you have actually asked me how I pair and put my outfits together and I you know to be honest most of it is neutral or it's a one piece it's a dress like this if it's a color it's normally a dress and so that's how I do it but as you can see on the rail everything here will pair together it's taken some collecting ladies this doesn't happen overnight obviously that's the neutral wardrobe that I've got right now in regards to accessorizing all these neutrals for me I go for tan I love anything tan tan or green so you often see me using this black bag this one uh, is actually from Marx's but I'll link something similar I don't think it's available now but yeah look tan for me is just the perfect pairing for anything in these cream tones I've also got this one from Coach it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more formal I would say a little bit more formal so if I'm going for a smarter look I think I would go with that a tan belt or a cream belt now I've got my Balkin belt you'll see that in the try on but it's not available at the moment so if you can find yourself uh, I'd say it's a taupe colour belt is what I'd call that so taupe leather accessories I think go well also my tan leather belt from Holland Cooper I wear this a lot you can see the tan it just it pairs with everything and lastly if you want to elevate any neutral look it's got to be pearls and there you go so there's one of my pearl earrings I have many but you pair pearls with a cream outfit and it just instantly elevates that look instantly so I would recommend pearls definitely I've got my cream coach bag here so if I'm doing a more elevated look obviously that will come into play you put the pearls with that and you're good to go so yeah that was a bit on the accessories but I'll link all the accessories that I use in within the looks as well anyway and that's it ladies a little bit different let me know your thoughts are you a neutrals lover like me or do you really hate it because I know some people say oh beige you know it's boring it suits me it's what I like so you'll see me in these a lot if you haven't already otherwise tell me what your favorite color is see I love black I look at women in black and I think they look absolutely fantastic put black on me it's not that great I love to wear it every now and again but it's not the color that works for me as much as the lighter colors yeah let me know what your favorite colors are as well and let me know what your favorite outfit was so that's it ladies I hope you enjoyed that something a little bit different this week I hope it made sense any questions Throw them in the comments down below. You know, I love to hear from you. And yeah, I'll see you for the Marxist haul in the next one. Love to you all.